after all, it's a tool makers machine. So, I use it to make tools. It's mail time. I received two little parcels this week and one of them comes from someone who wants to stay unknown, incognito, but I can maybe give you a hint. He lives in the same galaxy than the owner of this other package. So maybe, but let's have a look. He sent me a cute little yellow box that I hardly can open. And in here, of course it's a bit complicated to show you like this. Very small high precision drills and very small end mills. And this one I think is really cute. Look at this. A razor sharp. And an old bunch of other. This is a bit bigger end mill. Of course I have to measure. Maybe it's marked on it. Uh, it's too small print. I will, I, will, I will measure. So, unknown person. Thank you very much for all this. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure all these little mills you're going to find good use here in the workshop. Now the second package comes from Mats. And Mats, he sent me also a whole collection of different little end mills. And here is a, a nice big one that I... Oh, okay, I've got it. Look at this. For my machine, this thing is a beast. Nice and sharp. You see it's been used, but it's in, in perfect condition. This one, a 3 mm end mill. I think this thing is really cute. So, Mats, thank you very much. The same, I really appreciate it. So I think it's a very generous gift. Now I have one little problem. For the moment, the mills I have are stored in here. No, don't send me a toolbox. I have maybe an idea to organize all this to make it really handy to use. And so now it's time to do something I don't do every day. Let's go for it. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I think this is the right moment to do a little experiment. I made this bizarre looking thing here, looks a bit like a tripod or maybe a small rocket launcher, but it is not. What I like to try is to melt some aluminium. Because I don't have a furnace, my plan is to install this here in the coal fire. Of course I cleaned out the inside because there is this uh, weld uh, seam in normally. So I bored it out and on the other side I plugged it and I put in a little bolt. So if the molten aluminium doesn't want to come out anymore I can unplug this thing and tap it out with a drift. I have also a little bucket here filled with pieces of aluminium fries. This used to be an engine. Now it becomes an experiment.
to make the aluminium a little bit harder, I suppose they mixed some magnesium in it. Magnesium, fireworks, this can be dangerous. Let's try anyway. I already put some fries in here. Looks like the first piece is going. You can clearly see that the top side is not hot enough. I think in the bottom it's okay, but here on top need more heat. Now I can see that around here it's nice and hot, so I turn off the air and I'm gonna let it cool down. After that we'll see what we've got here. The most difficult part is done. And that is of course waiting that the thing cools down. Now let's put it in the vise because it doesn't want to come out. Can I put this in here? Yes, I can. Oh. Ah, you can tell that the threads were not really happy with the heat treatment. That doesn't sound good. Take a bigger one. There must be a secret somewhere, but I don't get it. This thing is rock solid. I'm gonna try to take it out and I'll bring you back. It was almost impossible to get it out. I didn't have any movement at all. I heated the form back up again and no movement. When we look inside here, it looks as if the aluminium was welded to the steel. What I think is not really possible. So I don't know what happened, maybe it's because of the magnesium in it. And we see in the bottom here, and here there are some air bubbles and shiny things inside. Let's put it in the lathe and see what we got. The finish quality is below zero. And indeed here, there are some air bubbles in it. I will spin it a bit faster. The 
Nope, finish is a bit better. Right, faster this thing. Still rough. Let's change cutting tool. Same result. Conclusion. Of course, after experimenting, it's very important to have a conclusion, otherwise it's a bit pointless, of course. Conclusion. I think I just found a very good way how not to make aluminium cylinders. I think it's important to know how not to do things. So now I think I learned something. I will experiment of course a bit more, but not in this video because the weather is changing and this is an outdoor activity. So let's do something else.